Hi Elena, welcome on board to this Q&A session for the topic Airplane Parts entitled to the sub subject Flight Mechanics. In this particular session, we will be seeing about the question analysis for this particular topic and regarding solutions, it is topic wise solve questions for the topic Airplane or also known as Fixed Wing Parts. Now regarding to the question and analysis, let me switch over to the blog containing the material for gate aerospace so here i'm on the age of aerospace blog and gate aerospace uh, tab now uh, scrolling down to the uh, flight mechanics portion so here we have flight mechanics and uh, now here we have the question analysis so here we can see that uh, we are focusing on the particular topic airplane or also known as fixed wing aircraft and its parts there have been uh, three questions which were asked in uh, 2011 15 and 18 similarly there were uh, two two marks uh, uh, it was both asked in the year 2008 so this seems to be an interesting topic now uh, getting to know about uh, what it has uh, basically when you are talking about airplane parts you need to know about few parts which are uh, uh, positioned in an airplane so the basic parts include rudder elevators flaps uh, the fuselage wings and uh, spoiler and winglets so there are multiple parts which you need to be knowing for even having a basic understanding uh, now let's get solving so here we are this is the first question and uh, this question was asked in the year 2011 and it's in one mark question let's read out the question so winglets are used on wings to reduce so basically they are uh, asking the purpose of the winglets now we have four different options and let's know uh, how do these uh, four individual options operate so here we see that uh, the first option is screen friction drag so how uh, practically is the screen friction drag reduced so screen friction drag is basically reduced by smoothening the surface so it has nothing to do with the winglet and uh, profile drag is basically reduced by aerodynamically designing a surface such as uh, providing and landing gear cover uh, similar kind of structures and wave drag is basically associated with uh, supersonic flow that is shocks and it is basically uh, reduced by inducing wing sweep and the option we are left out with is that uh, the last option D so induced drag here we can see the wing dip devices increases the lift generated at wing tips so this is the wing tip and uh, reduce the lift induced drag caused by wingtip vortices so when we are having a configuration which doesn't have a winglet you can see there are wingtip vortices forming around in the wingtip and uh, with the configuration having a winglet so this is basically known as a winglet and uh, when we integrate a winglet over here you can see the vortices are reduced compared to the magnitude without winglets so this basically uh, avoids the lift induced drag so it reduces the lift induced drag so this must be the right answer let's see as, as per the answer key induced drag that is winglets are used on wings to reduce the induced drag that is the drag induced due to the lift now uh, moving on to the next question here we have the question uh, as a candidate for a vertical tail which one of the following airfoil section is appropriate uh, this is a design perspective question they are asking that uh, if you are uh, going to design a vertical tail wh what airfoil will you choose now when we see an aircraft we see that uh, tail portion is the rear portion of the aircraft and uh, the vertical tail they are specifically mentioning the vertical tail so in the case of vertical tail we will be uh, basically focusing on some kind of uh, uh, symmetric uh, profile as it should be symmetric about the central fuselage line 
because if it is cambered then it will uh, additionally be creating some kind of uh, moment so uh, we need to prefer a symmetrical profile now here we have four different uh, airfoil coordinates or airfoil uh, nomenclature and uh, here naka 0012 here is a profile for naka 0012 so this is a symmetrical airfoil and uh, naka 2312 is uh, not a symmetrical airfoil it is cambered similarly naka 23012 is also a cambered airfoil and uh, clark y is also a cambered airfoil but it has a flat bottom now regarding the nomenclature we will be seeing that in aerodynamics part as it is in the syllabus of aerodynamics so as of now you can remember that uh, the first two digits if uh, the first digit two digits are zero then it must be a symmetrical airfoil and uh, regarding a general uh, overview over the nomenclature uh, basically the first digit uh, provides the detail about the camber and second uh, uh, provides a detail about the location of the maximum camber and the last two, two digits provides with the thickness so this is a four di four digit nomenclature in uh, five digit nomenclature the first digit uh, provides the uh, value of uh, cl that is if multiplied by 0 0.15 and we will be seeing about that in detail in the aerodynamics part and uh, regarding the clark, clark y profile it is known for its flat bottom and foil so the bottom is flat that's why it's named so and here as said for vertical tail portion we would uh, require symmetrical foil among all these four options naka 0012 is a symmetrical profile so uh, option a must be the correct answer let's see yes here we said that option a is the correct answer now reading out the third question it is a one mark question from gate 2018 the question is that the pilot of a conventional airplane that is flying steady and level at some altitude deflects the port side aileron up and the starboard, uh, starboard aileron down the aircraft will then they are uh, asking in for the action of the aircraft so uh, they say that uh, the airplane is flying steady and in that case they are deflecting the port side aileron up and starboard side aileron down before knowing this we need to know two different uh, things it is what is the meaning of port and starboard and the next thing is what is an aileron so here we see an aircraft so aileron is this portion of the aircraft it is a control surface which is used to roll the aircraft so the answer must be dealing with some kind of roll so option a and c aren't dealing with roll so they can be striked out and here uh, we did see that uh, uh, aileron uh, acts in an opposite direction that is if one is acting upwards then the other will be acting downwards some kind of reverse mechanism uh, now getting to the star port and starboard nomenclature so these are basic terminologies which are used from nautical terms the uh, port means left side that is this side of the aircraft and starboard means right side so this side of the aircraft and we can see so this is the port side of the aircraft and this is the starboard side of the aircraft uh, this is a basic nomenclature which we'll be using and uh, additionally i would like to uh, see that uh, uh, when we design an aircraft even though an rc aircraft we use this kind of lightings so these kind of lightings are used to uh, provide the orientation of the aircraft and basically for port side of the wing we use uh, red lights and for uh, uh, right side or starboard side of the wing we use green lights and the tail will also be having a white light now getting to the question they are saying that uh, the uh, pilot is deflecting the port side aileron up that is the left side of the aileron is deflected up okay and the right side of the uh, aileron that is the right aileron is deflected down that is the starboard aileron now in this case uh, aileron deflection will provide an opposite reaction that is when the uh, this particular side uh, aileron is deflected downwards it will provide a roll in the opposite direction so this must be in the anti-clockwise direction so this will be as the uh, port aileron is deflected up it will be providing a, 
downwards uh, moment so this is this will be causing a roll so basically the airplane will uh, roll anti clockwise so here they are saying uh, option b says roll with starboard wing up so here we can see uh, in the uh, action the starboard wing will be moving up so this must be the right right answer so here uh, port wing will be moving down so the option d will be wrong now checking the answer so here we see option b is the right answer moving on to a two mark example so here is a two mark question from gate 2008 uh, they are basically asking the primary function of pin and vertical tail of an aircraft so before answering this question we need to know what is a fin so talking about fin this is a tail portion of uh, an airbase a320 so here we can see the tail portion consists of two uh, components or two parts uh, this is a uh, portion which doesn't move and this portion is known as fin and uh, the rear portion is the control surface which we call it as rudder so the supporting structures are known as lugs which is not important uh, for this question still it will be preferable to know so this uh, surface which doesn't move uh, cannot be providing any kind of control uh, so the options uh, discussing about control can be struck by uh, the stable stable surfaces that is the surfaces which do not move are uh, required for stability and uh, here we can see there are two options for uh, stability so here we also know that the vertical tail portion this whole portion is basically dealing with the yaw of the aircraft that is if we consider this as an aircraft uh, from the top view the yaw motion is what the vertical tail deals with so here yawing motion any option discussing about other than your in motion, you can be strike down. So roll these both options can be strike down. So they are left with your stability. Yes, it doesn't provide your control, it provides your stability as it is a stable surface. We also call it as a vertical stabilizer. So let's check the answer. As option B is the right answer. Now here is another two mark question from Gate 2008. And uh, the question is uh, they are asking which one of the following high left devices results in higher stalling angle so basically they are asking a comparison and uh, higher stalling angle stalling angle is the angle at which uh, the stall is occurring so here we can see this is a stall stall is nothing but at a particular point the lift uh, becomes uh, lesser than uh, that is it uh, um, basically rises up and after a particular angle of attack it starts falling down so this particular angle is known as the stall angle so here we can see basic comparison between uh, many kind of uh, flaps so they are discussing about split flap fowler flap plane flap so these three are trailing edge flaps and uh, option d is a leading edge flap now here when we compare the first uh, three options a b and c so here we can see this is a plane flap the normal flap which we are uh, no knowing and the split flap is where uh, a portion of the rear and up uh, wing uh, splits up so it's that's the name uh, split flap and uh, fowler flap is that the uh, flap when deployed will be displaced from the trailing edge and it will be moving some distance and then it will be deployed so this flap can be commonly seen in uh, commercial aircraft such as uh, A320 or uh, uh, Boeing's aircraft 737 Max extra etc. So here among these three flaps, now when comparing them CL and Alpha, we can, uh, we can obtain the uh, highest stalling angle. So here we can see a uh, plane flap is having some particular angle of attack and polar flap is having a some particular highest angle of attack and among these three the split flap is comparatively having a higher stalling angle so among these three we can see that uh, i mean let me erase this so we can see that uh, uh, 
split flap is having a higher stalling angle compared to the plane and fowler flap. Now the option uh, answer must be either the split flap or leading edge flap. Leading edge flap here is a typical example of a leading edge flap. The flap is at, uh, arranged in the uh, forward portion and uh, based on this uh, if we consider that uh, leading edge flap also can be cancelled out we can take the answer to be the split flap. But uh, there is a controversy according to the answer key the split flap is the right answer. But there are alternate resources which I found out uh, that uh, leading edge flap. So here we see the leading edge flap uh, has a highest stalling angle. So this is the stalling angle of a leading edge flap uh, when compared to the trailing edge flap. So this is the uh, comparative uh, higher stalling angle for the trailing edge flap. So there is a controversy that uh, leading edge flap may be having a higher stalling angle than the trailing edge flap but i believe that there must be some other reason for the answer key which i may not know so if any of you know the answer you can always drop in the comment so that it will be helpful for others so that's it for this session thank you let's crack gate aerospace